Hey guys, but in this video, I'm gonna do the review of the CM11 ROM. Uh, this is actually the Soundfox ROM, Soundfox 2.0 ROM, and it is based on Sound Mod 11, which you can call that CM11. So I've been using this ROM for about a week, and I want to show you here about phone. As you can see here, we have Soundfox updates, and we have international model here. We have a 4.4 KitKat. This is the KitKat here, and also we have Soundfox version 2.0. And currently, there are not updates available for this ROM at the moment, but this will soon. And also, uh, with this ROM, it is a, you know it's a stable build of the and a 4.4 KitKat for this device. You know, it's uh, it's a stable build. You can use it as a daily driver if you want. And of course, we don't have any fancy things uh, with this ROM. So, also we have here performance. You can, you know, if you have a kernel with auto clocking. Uh, I don't really know that if the SIA kernel is compatible with KitKat because I have installed uh, the uh, see a kernel with and a 4.3.1 ROM and it's just you know give me a, a brick soft brick so I don't want to test out uh, the see a kernel on and a 4. Point, uh, ROM 4.4 KitKat ROM unless it is available so and also here you can just you know change the governor uh, you do performance it will just run on the maximum frequency here and also with different options Let's see what the ROM specific options we have. We have themes, which is good. I don't have any themes at the moment. And also we have lock screen, lock screen widget and stuff like that. And also we have some 4.4 KitKat uh, version icons here. So as you can see, this is the KitKat uh, version uh, icons. And it's it's kind of resembles actually a lot uh, with my Nexus 5 here, let me just show you at the moment. Okay, so I don't have Nexus 5 right now. It is just, it is in an, another room. So uh, yeah, it is. It is uh, you know very similar to the Nexus 5 in terms of icons and launcher. If you hold it, you will get widgets, wallpaper, and settings. You can jump into settings. You can add widgets if you want. And also, you can change wallpapers. We have different kind of wallpapers and some CM wallpapers, uh, which you get with the Sound and Mod ROMs. Okay, and as you can see, we have this wallpaper here. And also, everything is working. Browser is working. I've just out everything. Camera is working. Uh, as you can see here, uh, video recording is working. As you can see, I'm recording the video here. And I touch the screen, nothing is happening. I have saved the video. Let's check out the uh, camera mode here, and and I'm taking the pictures. I can go here, and as you can see, I have my pictures. Um, uh, here's my video, and also my other pictures and other stuff. So. Uh, Okay, so as you can see, camera is working pretty good, and I have used uh, the browser. Uh, as you can see, I was using it before, but right now I'm far away from the Wi-Fi connection, so I can't uh, show you that. Gallery is working, and also I've installed a bunch of apps from Play Store, and uh, of course, uh, Play Store is also working great. There's no problems in Play Store or you know logging in or downloading apps no slowing whatsoever so uh, if you ask me about if this the ROM that you can use as a daily driver yes I would say yes it is uh, it can be used as a daily driver and we have also the default Apollo app for music for music lover and it's also uh, working pretty great we have no you know errors like stop working which, which are pretty annoying so Yes, everything is working. I would recommend this ROM uh, if you if you want to install latest version of the Android on your device. You can check out this ROM Soundfox based on Soundmod 11, and also 
uh, like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos and I will see you in my next video peace out